Hello and welcome to Geeks Assembled as we review a really super sexy movie called Full Monty uh, starring Robert Carlyle and Paul Barber and a bunch of other people who I'm sure that we'll get to pretty much the whole cast because this is really great. Um, I have some wonderful people with me uh, and so uh, I'd like to get started with this um, uh, pretty pretty right off the bat. Um, tell, tell us Lee, what do you think of, of the full Monty? Well, so th this came came up back in 1997, um, and there was a spate of these sort of movies, you know, down and out movies, um, you know, down and out on your look. But by the end of the movie, it was you, you know a feel good movie by the end of it. And but this was one of the most most successful of that period. Um, it, it's this little information for it. it cost 3.5 million dollars to make this movie um it grossed worldwide 258 million dollars for a, a little movie like this to gross that it's just just amazing um it was the biggest uk film you know gross 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 wise of the money wise um until titanic came out that year and toppled it but um yeah, it's, it, to me, it's, it's just a nice little... You get to know this little gang of people what are all out, you know, because Sheffield promised so much back in the day of, uh, you know, this, the steel industry, promised you all this, you know, living the high life. Then 25 years later, all the work had gone. You know, everybody was on the dole queue, signing on and stuff like that. And and then they try and, um, try and make a bit of money and say that at least, um, Robert Carlyle needs some more money, you know, to custody of his son and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's it's fun. It's it's just the with Mark Addy and Robert Carlyle together. What a brilliant sort of comedy pairing. Um, it's just it's just amazing. Uh, you know, one of the lines for me is when Mark Addy's um, a security guard at ASDA, and, he, and Robert Carlyle comes walking and just says, "Can you get me a jacket for a funeral?" And Mark Andy says, what colour? What colour do you want? You know? <laughs> I mean, that... Yeah, orange. <laughs> but it's little lines like that. And it, the, the full cast are just work so well together. I mean, you've got Tom Wilkinson. He's a superb actor. Um, I think this was one of his first sort of film roles. Um, and he's gone on to bigger... You know, he's nearly in every Hollywood movie these days. Um, you've got brilliant Hugo Spear as... Guy, the lunchbox, uh, Paul Barbara's horse, but um, yeah, but they all work well together, and it's just their, it's, it's it's their story of how they get to that full Monty at the end. Uh, it's just amazing, and it is a known fact that they did do the full Monty at the end. It was uh, us four hundred extras in that room. And that, that those cast members agreed to go all the way and whip the hat off. Um, yeah, I, I can't fault this. It's a, it's a good, as you say, it's about strippers, but it's a family film as well. There's some bits of bad language there, but yeah, you can you can fleet fl over that. But for me, I like it. I'm giving this because it did, it didn't bore me at all, and it still doesn't bore me now. I'm going to give it a nine point five. A nine point five for Lee. Thanks, Lee. Um, what What do you think about it, Ramona? Ramona, you're muted. Right. When I first saw the film, I had no idea what the full Monty was. I was 17 years old and new to a lot of things in this world. I grasped the film looking for meaning and waded through the comedy and wanted to get to the end, wanted to get to that fight of Full Monty. And I recommend watching this film more than one time 
because once you see the ending, you're going to want to go back to the beginning to see the rest of the comedy, see the heart of the film and the meaning and the humanity that goes into this and the struggle that goes into this. These people all wound up in the same boat, the boss and the workers. No matter how hard-nosed they were, no matter how, what's that word? They were, they all wound up at the uh, job center, at the job club. And they were all looking for money. They had basically nothing. These gentlemen got clever and they used their greatest asset and <laughs> they used their greatest asset to make a way to earn some money. And the H with Chippendales, these guys were awesome. They're dancing, they showed their dancing, they showed their training, they showed their desperation, and they got it together and pulled it all off. So I'll give this a nine and a half out of 10 because there were some bits that I didn't want to see, but without them, the, the film would have been empty. A nine and a half for Ramona too. Thanks Ramona. And I loved it. Uh, I loved your, your, your puns in there. That you're, you're, that's awesome. Um, let's go over to Beef Dad. As, as Nan did. Complete with cling film. This, as Ramona said, is a film with heart. Wonderful, wonderful heart. Um, the scenes with Mark Addy and his wife, um, played by Leslie Sharp, um, were absolutely magic, absolutely magic. Um, little cameos here and there. Um, there was Bruce Jones playing Reg who auditioned and finally decided he couldn't do it. Who would then go on to massive things as one of the most popular leads in Coronation Street in England. Uh, brilliant. Um, there were so many good people in this. Uh, Mandy, who was Gaz's wife, um, brilliantly played, and the ending is just a piece of magic. And made a piece of magic as much by the strippers themselves um, but really turned into something incredibly heartwarming and special by little Nathan, played by William Snape. Brilliant, brilliant performance from that kid. That kid was absolutely superb all the way through the film. Um, at no point did you think, you know, this kid's out of his depth. He wasn't. He was absolutely in there all the way. Um, Tom Wilkinson as Gerald was absolutely amazing. I mean, he was not a young man when he made this. And for him to actually get up on stage, dance, strip, um, absolutely incredible. And he was a very, very well respected actor in England. Uh, nobody had heard of him worldwide. Come to that, nobody had really heard of Mark Addy worldwide, but um, we all know what he's gone on to do. He has gone on to bigger and better things all the way through. Uh, Game of Thrones, is it? Yeah, Game of Thrones. Um, Atlantis. All the big ones, all the big ones have Mark Addy in them because that man is just an incredible piece of work. And Robert Carlyle is, Robert Carlyle is just magic. 
the man is absolutely magic. He never ever fails. He never ever disappoints. Everything he does is brilliant. And for me, and I saw it when it first came out, I did have the DVD, but unfortunately I left it in England when I came over to Germany. So I had to watch it today on Netflix. Um, but for me, it's still what I always thought it was, and that is a 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10 for, for such awesome cosplay. Really great, Beef Dad. Um, and I'd like to go over to Craig. What do you think, Craig? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I love this film. Um, I remember see, when I when it first was released, so that's how long ago it was, so I watched it. Um, my favourite scene is in the... Um, in the in the, is it the dole queue and then the hot stuff music comes on and i start getting into it and that, that's that's just my favorite scene of the whole film um i like the fact that it's like a tongue-in-cheek um it's like a discovery of typical working class in our society getting into touch with their naughty sides and their sexuality um i mean we've come so far nowadays with like magic mike and Sausage Party, Fifty Shades of Grey, you know, but it, I'd, I'd like to contrast it though with the film Pride because that was also the sort, I mean, it was all about a, a masculine society, minors, uh, meeting up with a gay charity group um, to explore things that they've never seen before, things like that. And I think the heart of this film really is about a community celebrating freedom and I think that's why this film works so well. And that's why I like it so much. And I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. A 9 out of 10 for Craig. Yeah, well put, man. Um, okay, <clears throat> I guess it's my turn. Uh, I am I am uh, so, so touched by everything that Robert Carlyle does. He He's brilliant. He's absolutely, literally... In my eyes, he's the sexiest man alive. Uh, I I would uh, I, I would I would I would temper that with the the, the knowledge that this is uh, <clears throat> this is one of the ones in the middle of of his uh, powerhouse uh, period uh, where he was affecting everything to do with the British film and television industry. He was in Hamish Macbeth, and he was in. He was on his way to uh, Stargate Universe, but he was in the middle, and he was doing. He did this and uh, and Train Spotting and uh, Tournament, and he did. He did so many important movies right around this time, and he he was just he was brilliant in them. Um, he he is like beef dad said completely magical and uh and because of that magic he was able to uh he was able to uh to bring life to to this group of of, of people uh, uh, more life because like like you guys had had mentioned uh Mark Addy was phenomenal as Dave. I loved the heartwarming scene with him and his wife. When he finally comes clean about being a stripper, he's just like, I'm too fat. And she's like, no, you're not. I want to see you. Oh, it's good stuff, man. It's really good stuff. And then uh, Lomper, is, uh, Lomper is kind of coming into his own and coming out and stuff like that. That was really cool. And, of course, Tom Wilkinson pl played Gerald. And Gerald was, you know, hiding stuff from his wife and then finally able to come clean. It was all about, you know, moving from lies into truth. Gaz uh, moved from lying about money and... and about his commitment to his kid to actually being committed to his kid and going this distance going on this voyage 
to to overcome you know that that barrier that that his that his wife was going to put up you know it's it's hard when 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 a relationship is kept at arm's length like that and uh and hugo spear wonderful wonderful and uh and paul barber uh he had been uh, Robert Carlyle and Paul Barber had had been in in another movie together, another one of those you know uh, uh, exploring sexuality as Ramona said, um, the movie Priest, and um, uh, that that was a that was a, a a darker movie. This one was so much you know so so much more free and so much more freeing and and i i i haven't seen that the movie pride is is that what you said craig um yeah so i haven't seen that one yet but i i do i mean i i'm i'm interested in that that's being set free thing and so and the character arc the kid the kid going through through disappointment and disappointment and and you know, played excellently by William Sh- William Snape. Um, phenomenal, yeah, like brilliant. I just can't tell you like how how spot on uh, William's performance was in this. It was it was utterly brilliant to me. Um, and let's see, uh, that's pretty much all, well, Mandy played by Emily Wolf wow and Linda uh, or oh Jean played by Leslie Sharp Leslie Sharp yeah those 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 ladies did really wonderful and I was I mean the the full Monty uh, build up the build up of the dancing the build up of the training and all of that that was that was so sweet I mean it was the 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 you sexy thing uh, scene that nobody's mentioned yet, where you know he's got his jacket and he's and he's swinging it around and all of his pocket changes going everywhere and hitting everybody and 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 they're like they're not embarrassed. It isn't it isn't about like ducking their heads because of embarrassment. They're like dodging change pocket change going pocket money going everywhere and and then and then his uh his uh you know when he's taking off his shirt and getting getting it caught on his cigarette like like that was just hilarious i mean and 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 dangerous too i mean like there was the, the, like, beware of pocket change and beware of smoking cigarettes of fired cigarettes anyway like like those are those are really great moments, um, and I, I I loved the music. The music was absolutely brilliant. Best best soundtrack. I, I can I can't I can't fault the soundtrack at all. And so um, with all of that, I just can't give it anything less than like a ten. Solid as as Beef Dad would say, a solid gold ten. And um, I'm yeah I. I'm glad to have ha- had this chance. So let's throw open the 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 microphone for everyone. Um, we'll, we'll go back to the character of um, uh, is it Lomper, the, the gingerbread guy. Um, what you've got to realise there, he was going to kill. He was committing suicide at the beginning of the film. Um, it was Mark had his character who saved him, but the guy had nothing in life. Everything had gone, and it's the good thing is about this. In the end, he found someone to share his life with, in, uh, with lunchbox, which came as a surprise to me when when that happened in the film. I thought, oh, I wasn't expecting that, but mm-hmm. after seeing the scene where they were running through the back gardens, just wearing leather jock stops, anything could happen, I suppose. <laughs> but um, <laughs> and I, I took. I totally agree with you about the soundtrack. It is an awesome sound. Every song is a classic, and it gets your feet tapping. And as soon as you know, hot stuff or you sexy thing comes on, you're all doing that. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, it's it's just a feel. By the end of it, it's a feel good film, and uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful movie. 
the, the magical moment for me was where they um, where they had their rehearsal in front of Horse's family, <laughs> and Horse's mum sat there just doing a knitting and occasionally looking up and smiling. I was absolutely brilliantly done, and uh, of course everybody's mentioned the sort of hot stuff in the doll queue, hmm. but the magic part of that totally magic part of that was when Tom Wilkinson actually went into a complete dance move and they all went like that it was brilliant just absolutely brilliant and he did it so brilliantly I mean you yeah, know the man is very very talented mm. the, there's, there's, a, there's a scene with Tom Wilkinson as well where he's in his job interview that just makes me crease up his face <laughs> He sees the gnomes going by the window. I mean, <laughs> he just made the crease meal. Yeah, um, what's the other one? That... Yeah, uh, we were talking about heart, but Lumper's mum's funeral, and Lumper is there playing on the bugle. Um, and that was so well it was it was heartbreaking really i mean and the thing is it was the british steel stockbridge stocksbridge band which is an actual band um in sheffield um that used to that was part of the british steel industry um and yeah the way that um, young uh, Nathan got his father on stage at the very end of the film, saying, Mum's out there. Well, what about, what's his name? The husband, I can't, the, the other, the boyfriend or whatever he was. I can't remember his name. And she said, oh, she told him he couldn't come because it's ladies only and he said what have what have you been what have we been doing all this work for get out there it was absolutely magic it really really was <laughs> and uh i thought to myself that 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 kid reminds me of my son oh yeah very much yeah t totally real <laughs> So, so young young beef has told you to get on stage, has he? <laughs> um, young beef has told me to do a few things. <laughs> Not repeatable on here. Just some of them are repeatable on here. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, there have been times when he said, "Do it, just do it." Yeah. So, I mean, I, I could relate to that. Um, and yeah, I. It's it's just a it's just an all-round magical film because it it's the magic of real people trying to do something that really is not in their normal frame of reference. I mean, yet what this was the whole basis of this film was yet yeah, there were many many people out of work in the north of England at the time because the steel industry and the coal industry had basically been shoved out the window. Um, but uh, I've got to be careful now in case I forget my point. Um, yeah, the, the, the other big thing that was going on at the time, and it was quite big in England at one time, was the male strippers, um, yeah, particularly the group that was mentioned, um, who never actually went the full Monty, which is one of the reasons why if they went the full Monty, it was bang on. And the full Monty, by the way, dear, yes. actually means going the whole way, doing the whole thing. 
not just leaving the last little bit on. The full Monty is going the whole way. <laughs> I was just getting well, comfortable. This is not as queer as fuck. <laughs> Oh, you guys, anybody else have anything more to add before we, before we wrap this up? All right, well, thank you all for joining us. We, we, we went the full Monty. <laughs> and we, we'd like to uh, encourage you to like, subscribe, and to comment below your favorite scenes. Who, who you really fanboy, fangirl over? Uh, what, what, uh, what inspires you? What, what makes you cry about this movie? What, what, what magic it brings to your life? Uh, do tell us in the comments below. And uh, and thank you for thank you for watching. Uh, take care of yourselves. Have a really great week. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.